Here we're going to explore Candy's new polar tracking functionality and how we can employ it for setting out a simple floor plan, setting out the walls, setting out the doors and window positions, and how that differs from what we would maybe have done before using construction lines using Caddy. We'll explore more in more depth how we can set up the polar tracking, uh, but before we get too involved, let's just take a simple overview of how the tool works. So we're going to a base plan here. Um, if we were to draw out, firstly, a polyline, for instance, uh, here you'll notice I'm set to endpoint snap. And moving, moving the cursor around, we're actually in free move mode. And here there's no endpoint to snap to. So clicking down, nothing will actually find its way. However, if I come down to the, my bot the bottom of my screen here, and just click on the icon for polar tracking, what we notice is that, is that we get a projected line from our point going straight through that point. And the direction of this line corresponds with the setting that we'll show you how to set within the polar tracking. Here I'm set to 90. So we have all instances of 90 degrees, so that'll be four around the circle in effect. So I can now snap onto that. I can move across again projecting my line in the horizontal direction but what's very neat as well is the fact that if I log on to that point it also projects a line up here and we can dictate how many points it will log to be able uh, to enable me to literally move around my plan very quickly very easily maintaining that in this case orthogonal status. So let's have a look in a little more detail at where the the settings are for our polar tracking. So under snap at the top we have polar snap settings so a new dialog is presented to us. We have the enable which doubles up for the button on the bottom bar. We have the increment angle so here as I said I was set to 90 degrees we can set whatever and that will be all instances of that around the circle. We can also add additional angles. So where we want just a single instance, may, say maybe 22 and a half degrees, 35 degrees, 45 degrees, we can set that and it will only occur at those angles and we can add and delete those with the new and delete buttons. We have the maximum extension. So these are the points that are logged. So whether it be two, three, four, five, six, seven, that will give you the functionality to log onto those points and project them as well. And we can have our extensions indicated by line type, line width, color, and the marker color too. Here I'm just going to delete that and we'll, in this case, recreate our floor plan. So setting it out, so three meter projection there, and then we'll wind through the door and the windows with what we had previously. So choosing our AEC tools, we'll go for our wall and we'll choose quick wall. So we're drawing in that direction, three meters. And because I'm moving in that direction, same rules with caddy snapping apply, I can literally just indicate with a, a return and that will give me my position. Tracking across and picking my point there to give me the intersection. And then we're in this direction down, so 900 millimeters, enter that. Coming across to there, logging the point, projecting up, and then creating our finished wall on the end. And having created our wall, we'll insert doors and windows in positions corresponding to those that we have on the original plan. So we can use polar tracking again here. So whether we're using the copy facility on our door, so we'll, we'll pick the door, select copy, we'll pick our point, project up, and then literally insert the door. Here we can do similarly with the window, but if we, we know the, want to know the corner position and then locate it from there, we can have our window, locate the corner, and then locate the direction. So that that's another way of, of locating our, our new windows and doors. We can remove the doors and windows that we had originally, and here we're, we're seeing the new functionality that we have on selection too. So we can choose the different objects that are within our uh, selection scope, shall we say. 
and having selected our DWA, we'll use the new functionality on the right-click context sensitive menu, the CSM, go to assembly and convert to, and you'll see we have opening here. So we can take a DWA and convert it directly to an opening. The same is true of doors and windows too. So just pressing uh, escape there, just to remove the, uh, the markers. Uh, and we'll go for our door. So right click, door, convert to, opening, and then once again, just pressing escape, having finished. And if we want to change the length lines there, these are by block in this particular instance, so we can change them for a dashed line. Or if we wish to, we could have them as not showing at all. So just selecting them individually there, but using the object display, we'll go to plan. You see we have the option with our length lines to turn them off if we don't want them. So if you turn them off, apply, close, and you see they disappear. I'm just going back to the object display. So no overrides on here, so that will apply to all, but we could actually override them if we wanted to. Go to yes, and there they're back within our drawing. Taking a look at our proposed plan, we have a window to put in here, which is uh, 440 millimeters from the existing wall and then 1085 millimeters wide. So going back to our floor plan, we can choose our window. We have a suitable window chosen here. We can click on for corner insertion. OK to that. Log on our point. And this time I'm going to press the equals button on the keyboard. Move in the direction I want, so I can type in 440 and it just says indicate the direction of the window which will be in that direction and my window is inserted. So when we go for our dimensions now we get the plan just as we had previously. In creating a, a little plan here you may have noticed that we have some additional selection opportunities within Caddy 2. And here, as I move over the objects, you'll see that they're picked out in an orange. This is a user custom, customizable color, and we'll explore how you can do that and uh, set that in just a moment. And you see with things like DWAs, we have where we have a, a number of objects closely grouped together. If I select there, I get a little dialog box that asks me which of the objects I would like to select. In terms of actually setting those, those properties. We come down on our settings here to selected, highlighted, marked and virtual objects. So this is combining some existing functionality and some new functionality too. So there's the orange color that we see here. So that's the colored, you can also have thickened and highlighting when we just do a mouse over as it says there on the mouse over. We can also, under selection settings, enable that selection dialog. So that's the little dialog that gave us the choice over which object we wish to select. If we turn that off, in picking our object here, we just revert back to selection as it used to be in Caddy. Um, worth noting too, that when we are using the polar snap, so if you go back to, to lines here and just, we're actually employing the polar snap, uh, if we turn off the, polar, the tracking, it doesn't interrupt the command, so it's totally transparent. We can turn it on and off at will whenever we wish to use it. So that's a brief overview of the new polar tracking and selection functionality within Caddy. Worth remembering and noting that this functionality can be used both in drawing and editing too, uh, moving things around, uh, in fact, any part of, of using Caddy. So, if, for instance, we were drawing in a rectangle here, we could use the equals, select our, our point there, just hover over it, press the equals button in the direction now, type in, say, 900 millimeters. That will take us 900 millimeters in that direction. We could type in 600, 450 to give us our, our inspection chamber. But if we wanted to move that and line it up with the end of the, uh, the line that we have there, simply select it, choose our move, Pick the locating point and then tie it in with our point there.
So very free, very easy, very, very useful for, for drawing, modeling, and editing within Caddy.